I really, 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 really like this question because I'm about to clear up something for y'all, okay? I'm like, damn, you so fine, girl, what is your sign? She say I'm a Sagittarius, I'm a Capricorn, the beginning and end. I got a friend for your friend, hey, I'm making all of this money to spend. Deal stores buying. Hey, I don't buy. All right, y'all, I'm not even gonna front. I am so geeked at this setup right now. Like, can we take a moment to admire this? Like, my background is so blurred out. I have like a little monitor thing that I'm using. Well, it's really my phone, but usually it's the iPad, but we're gonna use the phone today. So if you guys see me like looking down, that's what I'm looking at, as well as my mirror that's right in front of me. The clarity is so amazing. Like, oh my gosh. I feel like you guys can actually see that my hands are ashy. Ah, I love it here. So this is going to be a chit chat. Get ready with me. A full chit chat. Get ready with me. From hair to makeup to conversation to fragrance to clothes, the whole shebang. Okay. I might even give y'all like a little what's in my bag, but we'll see. For starters, as you guys already know, I always start off my makeup videos with my eyebrows already done. My face is not prepped and primed, so let's get into that. But I do also have a thorough video that I recorded for you all on how to achieve eyebrows like this. I like to call it like a feathery, natural look kind of eyebrow kind of situation. So first I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know that this primer is a bay. I always use this primer, I don't think I will ever find another primer like this one. But if you do have another suggestion, please comment down below. You know I'm down to try new things. I like to rub it like in my little T-zone area. Fill in those potholes called pores. And then I like to rub some on my forehead. I have not done like a chit chat get ready with me in a while. So this feels kind of awkward. I haven't done like, I don't think I've done like a real sit down video in a while. Put my twist back. Have a video coming out to y'all about how to achieve a bomb twist out. So don't worry don't worry put this back though for the time being we're gonna grab this pro filter by fenty beauty concealer this is the color 370 and i'm gonna use this to color correct or just conceal and i don't know what's going on it could just be mother nature but i got two pimples one right here and one on my forehead that like literally appeared out of nowhere i like to get underneath my mouth there's like a dark ring it's really not that bad but i just feel like i can see it so we're gonna conceal that and once i do under there i'm must do on top of my lip because I just feel like they're sisters. <laughs> they should be one color. So once I finish looking like a clown, <laughs> I'm going to grab this fluffy BH Cosmetics eyebrow brush. This is the number 141. I'm not sure if 141 is like universal throughout the website or if it was out of the pack that I have, but 141. I'm just going to start blending everything out. I like to start with my mouth area. I don't know why, I just do. But I definitely like to leave the eyes for last. I like when my concealer sits and gets thick so that, you know, better coverage. So we here, we live. Let's get this conversation started. But right, 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 right before we get that started. <laughs> I'm going to grab my Jojo Amani Luminous Silk Foundation. If you have not yet seen my review on this foundation, make sure you go check it out. This foundation is bay. If you do not have this foundation, you need to get this foundation. If you have this foundation already, you need to go buy another one because this foundation is off the hook, okay? With this Morphe Flat Foundation Brush. Actually, I'm lying, that's, what, that's not what we're doing today. I'm going to grab my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color, color Truffle, and I'm actually going to just carve out my face and kind of do like a little reverse contouring kind of thing. And then I'm gonna blend this out and I'm just gonna make it real quick so we can get into this combo. So I asked you guys to offer some suggestions of some chit chat, get ready with me topics that I should talk about today. Starting with one of them that I really, really liked, was balancing mom and social life. So this conversation is definitely fitting because I'm going out today and balancing mom life and social life has definitely been like a thing on my channel. If you are new here, you guys know that I was in a friend group. Long story short, don't hang out with those people anymore. So right now I'm like gaining back a social life. I'll link that video up above. I'm making new friends and things like that. It's so funny because in the beginning, I honestly feel like I did not know how to balance being a mom and having a social life. I didn't want a social life. <laughs> like I just wanted to be a mom and that was it. I have spoken about that plenty of time on my YouTube channel. But once I got over that hump of like, I'm a mom, I, have, I had to sit and ask myself like, 
who else are you besides Alex the mom you know before I had a daughter I was very social I'm still am a very social person I kind of wanted to tap back into that because it's so weird when you have a baby people think it's like you just give birth and then you're like back to your normal self like after a week maybe no I honestly feel like it's taken me about a year to get back to my normal self and even with me getting back to my normal self I'm still not the Alex I was before I had a baby like I will never be that girl again however there are just there are certain things that I do miss about myself and you know going out having fun is one of them of course my fun is kind of measured because like I can't go out and be hung over the next day the way I used to be because one that's just irresponsible and two it's a headache when you're a mom and trying to maneuver drunk and hungover it's just not fun anymore so i had to mature in that aspect but what really helps that balance i can honestly say is the people that i choose to hang around so now i have a plethora of mom friends we all have this commonality that duh we're a mom so you know when we go out we bond over our children we let our hair loose we know what it feels like to be in each other's shoes in a sense we know it's like girl we all know what like you know having a hot mom summer is we all know what mom's going wild means you know it doesn't really necessarily mean hanging our boobs out and now, now that we're not with our kids or our man we're just going crazy but it's just that balance of damn i've been in the house all day or being a, um, a stay-at-home mom or a working mom and now I finally get to let my hair loose I finally get to tap back into that person that I was before I had a baby and you know do things that people with that people do now, I don't want to say people with no kids that people do and not feel guilty about it let me not even just big up my mom friends but also having other women in my life who don't have kids who respect the fact that I am a mom so they allow me that space you know still talk about Gianna well, if y'all don't know my daughter's name is Gianna they still allow me that space to talk about Gianna but they still kind of tap into that fun Alex like girl let's do this let's do that and um yeah they also know like if I say I gotta go I gotta go and I also just really feel like we're all at that age where we have respect responsibilities whether it's a child work or whatever I do hang out with a bunch of responsible mature adults so I think having that balance of mature people around me and like-minded people around me definitely helped with that mom and social life balance so now being that like I actually want to go out and have fun and I want to do things with people it also helps that I'm like I just said hanging out with people that are responsible people that respect the fact that I'm a mom you know I'm not hanging out with women who aren't doing the same things that I'm doing I'm not hanging out with women that are partying non-stop and neglecting their responsibilities I'm not hanging out with women who yeah I'm just leave it at that when I'm away from my child I don't feel this sense of what is it like peer pressure like I don't feel a sense of like oh I don't want to go home because the fun is gonna stop I don't feel I don't feel pressured and if that makes sense oh my gosh guys I don't know I just feel so awkward sitting down and talking and doing makeup at the same time and then my camera doesn't have a flip out screen so I can't even see myself besides if I look down at my phone like I just mentioned to you guys so like bear with me okay <laughs> but yeah I hope that makes sense so that's really how I'm balancing mom in a social life and also my man he makes it 10 times easier as well he's a great partner to have as far as like you know great partner for me he's like also a great dad to our daughter and he be pushing me to get out the house like you don't got no friends you don't want to do something today with you like you don't want to get out the house so and anytime I want to get out the house it's never a fuss oh it's hot I have to turn my AC on Having him push me as well is like, that makes it really well. And also having a village that I know can watch Gianna at any time also makes the balance easy. Cause it's like, I'm not, like when I'm out, I'm not stressing like, oh my gosh, is she safe? Don't get me wrong, yeah. I still be calling on whoever is watching Gianna. I call her dad, I call her grandmothers. Whoever's watching Gianna, I'm still checking in. Hey, she okay? Hey, you know, cause I'm, that's just the mom in me, but yeah that's really how i balance it the next topic is things that being a mom has taught you about yourself so i'm not gonna lie to y'all i've always heard this but it's not until i became a mother that i'm like wow this is so true i am so controlling and i'm just i don't know i don't know i'm just so controlling like that is just something that being a mom has taught me i also realized that i am patient i used to think i wasn't patient but i am very 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 patient don't get me wrong i lose it sometimes but i am so patient and i admire that by myself 
but going back to being controlling i am so controlling i think now that i'm a mom i use that as an excuse to be controlling like well you know i'm the head honcho of her life i mean of course her dad too but you know i'm the head honcho for life i'm the woman i have to have everything you know organized if i miss a step then you know everything under me falls incomplete and honestly y'all that is no pressure i like that about me okay i like having things under control i do i do i do i like telling people what to do how to do it when to do it i'm trying to control myself <laughs> when it comes to it but especially when it comes to gianna i'm just like i'm her mom this is what i said this is how it should go this is it like that's it that's it so i'm i don't even want to say i'm learning how to control it because i just feel like i'm not gonna apologetically be controlling over my child's life like i get I, I give gianna choices as as young as she is i do believe that the child should have choices but when it comes to other people i can definitely say that i don't really like being told what to do when it comes to my child but I definitely love giving directions when it comes to my child. But when it also comes to other things, I have learned that those things are not my child. So I cannot be controlling over, you know, every aspect of life. So I do learn to, I have learned to quiet my mouth. And when somebody's speaking or when somebody is trying to teach me something about something that's not my child, you know, sit down, listen with your ears, not with your mouth, you know, learn something. I guess that's about being humble having humility i have definitely learned that about myself if that makes sense i have definitely learned how to be more humble i feel like i should let this concealer sit a little longer let me go in with a lighter one i'm going with it going in with my born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in the color sand this is definitely a winter shade not a summer shade I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like really, really pale. Oh, I kind of like this technique. I feel like right here is making my eyes look, have like more dimension. I don't know if you guys are catching that on camera. Like right here. At least from this angle, you can see it. It looks good. <laughs> so next, I'm going to grab my Laura Mercy A setting powder in the color Honey. Dip my beauty blender and just set everywhere. Everywhere gets set. Everywhere, everywhere everywhere i'm gonna go in with my huda beauty powder in the color banana powder and yes y'all i still have this little itty bitty mini one <laughs> so i just put some on the back of my hand and i'm about to go back under it i feel like this powder really just takes under my eye to another level <laughs> when i contour everything is definitely gonna come together wow i just realized i did not do eyeshadow wow that is so annoying i didn't do eyeshadow i didn't do my lashes this is why i told y'all i feel funny on camera right now but whatever we could just go ahead and do that right now Going into this jacqueline hill palette i'm going to grab I like this yellow color what color am i wearing today don't think it's yellow but whatever just throw that up in here Oh, I like this a lot already. Feather it out. Just add a little bit more in here. Oh yeah, so the next conversation somebody, conversation, the next topic somebody asked me was regaining freedom as a mom. So I think I kind of like touched on that in the first topic about balancing mom life and a social life. That was just the only place I can say where, I don't even want to say I didn't have freedom. I feel like I was always free. I just always consciously made the decision like not to go out and stuff like that because it was just really hard trying to balance being a new mom and like wanting to go out like i felt kind of guilty i don't even know if i felt guilty i just think i just really didn't want to do it let me just say that i just really didn't want to do it i just wanted to be a mom and i was i was content gianna was my life and she still is my life but at the same time you need balance so my freedom is now you know going out for a drink with my girls every three or four months like i can allow myself that <laughs> I feel like I, I, I should be able to do that, you know? Do something away from being with my man or my daughter. Balance, y'all. Balance. That's the way the balance comes in for me. My wings never, like, never. Hardly ever, like, match. I actually really like this wing. This wing is jacked up. I'm gonna use my Lily Lashes in the style Miami. These lashes are everything. These are actually the magnetic lashes that I did a review on. And if y'all watched that review, y'all know. 
yeah no so I'm actually going to go in with my house of beauty house of lashes lash glue and just apply that to the band but these lashes are so popping oh my gosh there's just the right amount of volume density right amount of curl look at this lash it just brought like my semi done face like up 20 notches look at this all right so my lashes are on so now i'm going to just bronze up my face with my makeup by mario sculpting powder the next topic that somebody stated was moving in with caleb putting career on the back burner to be a stay-at-home mom oh i really really like this question and i really 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 like this question because i'm about to clear up something for y'all okay so for one staying at home being a stay-at-home mom was my choice i was pregnant throughout the pandemic and a lot of people got what was it laid off i guess or whatever the whole country shut down and so i was without a job and i loved that for me i was working in the beginning of my pregnancy and then literally i think i was maybe about five months pregnant the world shut down and i was able to just regroup get a sense of self i was able to you know bond with my baby i was able to bond more with caleb and not for anything before i even met caleb before i even got pregnant i always said i would i want to be able to stay home with my children at least for like the first year i would like to be fully present in my home I'm not gonna lie, one of my biggest dreams when people would ever ask me, like, oh, like, what's your biggest dream when you get older? Or what's your dream job? Or whatever the case may be. Not dream job, but you know, what's something that you look forward to when you grow up? And I always said, like, you know, being a bomb mom and a bomb wife. For me, I feel like working is just, that's something that is easy attain easily attainable. Like you can always apply for a job. I, I don't wanna say it's a no-brainer, but I just feel like it's a no-brainer. Like you can always apply for a job, get a job, work a job, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I just felt like really diligently working towards being a family woman and being the best family woman that I can be for my family. That was something that like I really, really wanted to work at. Um, I don't know why, I just always did. Like I didn't come from a household where like a single mom or a single dad, like I grew up with both my parents. I have siblings, I have a big loving family, but I don't know, that was just always something that I said, when I get older, this is what I want. Like that is my main focus, that is my main priority. So whatever, fast forward 10 years later, I end up pregnant during a pandemic and it put all of that back into perspective for me. And it's just like, wow. The one thing that I prayed for before, I'm pretty sure I'm, I am like a big praying person. I prayed for this. And it's like to see it come into fruition and to actually live in one of my prayers is like, whew, holy smokes. Like, wow, like I'm really home with my baby. I'm doing okay. I'm not struggling. Like it's, 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 a, it's an amazing feeling. So now in terms of putting my career on the back burner, not gonna lie to y'all, like I just said to y'all, while well, I gave y'all that whole spiel. I don't feel like I was in my career when I stopped working. Like, yes, I have my degree in that field, and yes, I went to school for that. Yes, I love that. I feel like YouTube is what I wanna do. And if y'all remember, if you guys were following me throughout the pandemic, I was spitting out videos almost every day throughout the pandemic when I was pregnant. I was really working towards my YouTube career and I still am working towards my YouTube career. And I am so happy that I that I have the option. I don't know why this doesn't feel dark enough. Does my face look dark enough? Let me see if I have my other bronzer. I'm just so happy that I am able to be able to do this, you know? I'm so happy that I have a partner who is very supportive of what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I'd be seeing Caleb coming on this camera. He want to, he does not want to be on this camera, but he's just so supportive of what I'm trying to do and just so supportive of me that he's like, all right, babe, I have a little guest appearance, but don't hold it, all right? Don't, don't be trying to have me on this camera all, all day and whatever the case may be. And he does videos with me and stuff like that. So, you know, it just makes it like so much easier and so much more fun. When the pandemic first hit and I was talking about, you know, the fact that my job was asking me to still come in and I'm pregnant and the whole world is going to shit. I just can't believe that they would even, you know, ask me to come in and um, ask me to use like my time off to pay me out. You know, there's a whole bunch of shady stuff going on. And I was basically just saying like, I'm so glad that I was able, that my mom has always instilled it in me to make sure you have a savings. Like, girl, 
no matter what, make sure you always have a savings because you never know what can happen. And who would have ever thought we would have been in a pandemic? Like, I was born in the 90s, so I think like the last, I don't remember, I don't even know when the last pandemic was, but I would never think that the whole world would shut down. So, you know, I had a savings, a healthy savings. And throughout the pandemic, I was still able to save some more. So I still have the option to go to work or not go to work. And right now I am choosing to not work because I have my safety net. And if ever I feel like that safety net is not there or is not enough, then guys, guess what? I have three degrees. I'm gonna choose one and you know, <laughs> we gonna get back to work. Or if I just wanna go back to work because I feel like this is not what I wanna do anymore, I have that option. So just to correct anybody's thinking or you know, just even just to have this conversation, I definitely did not put my career on the back burner to be a stay at home mom. I am actually right now working on my career. Like this is what I wanna do and it's not easy. <laughs> It's not easy at all, like at all. And I just feel like whether you're a YouTuber, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a doctor, whether and anything in life, nothing comes easy. Like nothing, 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 nothing comes easy. But to answer the first part of that question, um, moving in with Caleb. So like I said, my pregnancy was during a pandemic. So Caleb and I spent I think we literally spent every single day together. Moving in with him just happened kind of gradually. And then when I gave birth, it was it after that. There was like, there's no, there's no turning back. <laughs> we always made um, a conscious effort to, like we're a family now. So wherever you go, I go. Wherever I go, you go. And that's it. So moving in with Caleb is definitely a blessing. I'm so happy that he is a great partner for one. I'm so happy that he's a great dad for two he's really a great person period shout out to him somebody tell him i was bigging him up all right <laughs> um there are things i don't like but i just feel like if you speak to any girl they're gonna give you a list okay a list of things that they hear that they man do and it's so funny because like on instagram i would see things and I'm like, oh my gosh, your man does that too. My man does that. Like, oh, you see these memes. Like, um, my best friend sent me a meme the other day, and it was like, oh, when my husband throws his clothes on the floor, I don't even cry about it anymore. I just throw it in the garbage because obviously, whatever you don't want, you throw on the floor. And I'm like, genius, genius. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never throw his things away, but yeah, it's just regular relationship stuff, like. Nothing to even talk about, complain about. It's just, if you live with anybody, you just know it's really hard living with anybody and you have to make a conscious effort to, what's the word? You have to make a conscious effort to keep peace in a sense. But yeah, that's about it. I don't, yeah. I've actually been having a conversation about putting Gian into daycare since Gian was like, <laughs> an itty bitty baby but i didn't want to go to daycare i wanted my child home with me why because ain't nobody gonna take care of my baby like how i'm gonna take care of my baby nobody okay nobody i'm still a firm believer of that but i have shifted my thinking to it's not about trying to take care of gianna but it's about gianna seeking her own independence from me getting a social life and learning how to play with other children and just not playing with herself because when she's home with me she's just playing with herself all day you know which is also a beautiful thing, but you also, I don't, also don't want her to be like socially awkward and when she gets around other kids, she's like hiding behind me. I love this blush, just spray my face. So yeah, so that's where we're at with that. So I feel like I'm missing something, but let me go and take down my hair and I'll be right back. Take down my hair and get dressed and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the final look. As you guys see, my face is already done. This is my hair. I have a bomb twist out going on. Oh my gosh, my twist outs lately, chef's kiss. I do have a detailed video on how I achieved my bomb twist outs. If you guys could check that out up above as well as it'll be linked down below. The scent that I am wearing today is this My Burberry. Eau de Toilette. 
As a matter of fact, you know what I learned this weekend? Yeah, I learned EDT and EDP. <laughs> so this is an EDT. <laughs> and then I also mixed the fragrance with Flower Bomb by Victor Rolf. I haven't showed you guys this perfume as yet, but I will have a video coming out on some nice fall scents for this upcoming season. And this is an EDP. So I mix these two fragrances together and they marry really, 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 really well. This is my outfit. My top is from Zara. My jeans are from Zara. My shoes are from Ego Official and my jewelry is from Amazon. Well, my rings are from Amazon. I forget where my earrings are from. My mom-in-law bought them for me. And my necklace is from Zara and my bracelets are from Amazon. And my bag is also from Zara. So. Thank you all for tuning in to today's video. I love you all. Please add me on Instagram because I am like running out of topics and I actually really, really love today's topics. Sometimes I feel like y'all don't like hearing me ramble about motherhood and stuff like that. But y'all the ones who chose this topic, okay? <laughs> it was y'all who chose these topics today. Make sure you guys don't forget to comment down below with any thoughts and opinions. So yeah, I really enjoyed today's chit chat. Get ready with me. I hope you did as well. I love you all and I will see you in the next one.